journey's end, some might say, for the River Thames, when it meets the Thames barrier at Woolwich. But the water has had the most historical voyage of its kind. Snaking through the city of London, it's been a witness to modern times as it ebbs and flows with the past. The Thames is a busy thoroughfare for boats, ferries and ships, and it's a vital link. Here, strong currents, tides and eddies confirm it's not a place for open water swimming. However, near its source, it's a completely different story. Life on the river. There's nothing like it. There's only one pace that describes it best. Slow. On this trip, we let the water take the strain. I, I went on holiday with Swim Trek last year to the Cyclades, and uh, it was a life-changing experience, really. And uh, there's a thing where I don't really know a lot of England, really and I've never been on a river. And the idea of swimming nose to nose with frogs was quite appealing. Um, so we're just waiting to do our first swim now. I think the idea of not wearing a wetsuit is, is preying heavily on my mind. swim yeah how was it um it was um warmer than i thought uh but it still sort of took my breath away i think the the, the anxiety so the the first uh across there i couldn't do bilateral breathing i was just sort of plowing along and then gradually it calmed down and um i think it's all right the trip begins at Lechlade in rural Gloucestershire. Your guide will be ready to welcome you aboard, and as with all our trips, we'll brief you on the swims. The swim hats, we um, have some swim hats here which we'll dish out shortly. Um, they're brightly coloured, they're um, uh, mandatory. Safety is paramount, and your guide will take you through our safety um, procedures. It's going to you. It literally wraps around you here, like so. You've got a toggle, you've got one there, which I can't put around me. One there, and you turn it round, and it goes like so, under there. Briefing over, it's time to take to the river. For guide John Cunningham Rolls, the Thames is unique. I think probably uh, with the Thames, it's um, part of the national waterway. It has such a huge historical resonance and to swim in it is quite something and the more rural parts from where we started so Bletchley has the most uh, beautiful countryside. Watching the world go by, it doesn't take long to relax into this trip. You could soon forget there's some swimming to do. From Lechlade, we'll follow the flow of the river, 
swimming by towns and villages on our way to Oxford. Remember, you can hop on. And off the boat at any time. All of the swim trek uh, trips are different and they're great in their own way. One good thing is that they take people of all abilities and they give you advice on training for the swims. If you follow the training programme you can uh, build yourself up so that you're uh, accomplished enough to do the swims or you've practised enough in cold water. With the current helping you along, you'll be covering more distance than you think, so don't be surprised if you overtake the odd swan or seven. I think the swimmers just find it extraordinary to be able to experience wonderful moments, including the uh, very uh, susceptible weather. And the irony is that um, when it rains, most of the guests think it's absolutely fantastic. And thoroughly enjoy the experience of the raindrops uh, splashing on the water. Lunch is never far away and always appreciated. While you've been swimming, there's been exercise in the kitchen too. Lunch might be on the barge, or at any one of the many charming inns along the way. with its historic reputation, its varied wildlife, and the ever-changing scenery, the River Thames trip brings the English countryside right to your door. Oh.